Today, come clean with me. My house is very, very special. I hope it makes you feel so good about yourself or extremely normal because there's crap everywhere. We have been on the road with baseball and I just have not got to dedicate the time I need to to my house. So today I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend 10 minutes in each room. That is like my absolute favorite thing to do. I can go back to that room, but I feel like I have some ADHD stuff. I haven't really got diagnosed, but I know that I lose interest very fast. And so to keep me moving quick, I'm gonna do 10 minutes in each room. I'm gonna carry with me a basket for things that are in the wrong place. I'm gonna carry with me a trash bag. I'm gonna carry with me a black trash bag. The black trash bag is to help me get rid of things, just declutter without the kids crying every time they see something they don't want in the trash bag. So that's been my theory and I'm gonna take stuff to the thrift store at the end of this clean with me and let's just get this house in order. It just makes me feel so much more sane. I know you probably feel the same way, but sometimes we lack the motivation. We don't even know where to start. So that's why the timer is gonna be key for this one. So my name is Lana, this is Girl Teach Me. This whole channel is about helping you become the more faith-filled woman that you are meant to be. And sometimes that means cleaning our house. Most every day it means cleaning our house, but today is a big one, so let's do it. So I'm starting my 10 minute timer in my room and my closet is just something that has been neglected for a little while. It feels good to clean up my closet. This helps me get ready really quickly in the morning. I actually have a declutter video for my closet that really helped me pare down the essentials of what I actually wear. And it feels so good to go get ready in the morning because I can usually find something very quickly that I want to wear. And something that I did recently since I'm 20 weeks pregnant is I went to a nice thrift store and I tried on about 50 different dresses. I found six dresses that I really like and I even went to another little store and got this little white top that I can throw over strappier dresses to, to just make it more modest or cover myself up. It never really occurred to me that I could take these little half shirts that teenagers seem to wear and show their bellies and just cover up the tops of my dresses. I try to wear shoes with backs on them only because I don't love like clip clopping around, but these Reebok shoes I have been wearing, I am just loving. They look really good with dresses over the knees, not so good with dresses under the, like below the knees, but they've been really comfortable and I think pretty cute with dresses over the knees. So I'm cleaning the bathroom with basically just old rags, some soap and water, and some Branch Basics bathroom cleaner. I have a video on cleaning hacks and that's just one of the things I talk about is I feel like a lot of people use really unnecessary cleaning products on their house that are very expensive and actually have a lot of toxic material in them that you're inhaling and then also putting on surfaces. You don't need much to clean. A lot of times it's just a little bit of soap and water and some elbow grease. I will say it has been nice to have this concentrate from Branch Basics to make bathroom cleaner, laundry soap, all-purpose cleaner, things like that, window cleaner with it, so I've enjoyed that. And then one thing that my kids are constantly helping me clean bathrooms, I have them do chores, and one of the things they do is wipe down the potty once a day, but you know, really it needs me to come, they need me to come behind them one time a week and really do the job well. And this bathroom is so small, but you know, I'm really thankful for it regardless. It's definitely not the style I would choose. It's not the size I would choose because you know, it just, it shows filth really, really fast. And so one thing that surefire makes me feel better is a clean bathroom. It almost just feels like my own little spa when it's nice and clean. So this is very rewarding just to start with my bathroom. And honestly, I used to sweep it, but just vacuuming just takes so much less time. We actually broke our vacuum just like this, the shark, I think it's called a shark navigator. And we went right back and bought a brand new one because I really love it. Cleaning the baseboards makes me feel so much better too. I feel like there's so much dust and gunk that gets there. Um, I know it just feels crazy that I'm cleaning this in a dress, but honestly, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I feel like sometimes I don't get dressed in my mind. I tell myself the story, well, I've got a lot of gross things I've got to do today, but just cleaning in a dress just really showed me I can do so many things looking nice and feeling good that doesn't keep me from being productive i feel like in fact it helped me boost my productivity so if you're telling yourself a similar story that you have to wear yoga pants all day long because you need to clean the house i just challenge you like get a dress you feel good in um that's not too fancy and put on some cute tennis shoes and 
I think you might be surprised how productive you can feel even in a dress. And who doesn't love a good squatty potty, guys? Come on. So the rest of the house is so just full of stuff in the wrong place. And that really shows me that we have been on the road so very much. I think one thing I really struggle with is paper clutter. There's just, you know, as I'm going through the house and I can't find, like, I I know that 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 thing goes in a specific part of the house and it's not in the right part of the house. I'm putting it in this basket, in this laundry basket. Also, just carrying a trash bag with me, just so I'm not running back and forth, back and forth to the trash. That is like one hack that's been really helpful. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but carrying a basket for, you know, misplaced items, carrying a black trash bag for things I want to donate and a white trash bag for trash really speeds up the process of going through the house and just putting stuff back where they go. And this cooler seems to hang out a lot with baseball games and things like that, especially when we go and get milk. But um, just getting that put away just really just it feels like it sits in the living room for forever if I don't take care of it. And just, you know, going through my mail and putting stuff in my backpack. I don't have a per se office. I I do have this desk here, but truthfully, I work at coffee shops a lot of times if Matt gives me breaks. So just keeping things in my backpack is the surefire way just to know exactly where it is and to give it a little bit of a home. And this stuff over the mantle is definitely not what I would have over the mantle. I want to get on the looks for a big piece of art to put there. I think it'd be really pretty, but just for the time being, I put a couple pieces that I had and kind of stacked them together. And I think sometimes you just have to use what you've got in the meantime, instead of it just sitting bare. This room is really special. This is like the homeschool room, but it's also the room that the kids just get craft stuff out and cut things up. And so it can get kind of messy in here. There's so many things in that, in that basket that I have just gathered throughout the house and homeschool flashcards that need to be put in the right place and so it feels good just to be putting everything back in the home that it has that it needs to be in I'm still doing homeschool through the summer because honestly it keeps us in a really really good rhythm I'm definitely slowing down from the extra things but just continuing to do reading and things like that and here I'm just encouraging Luke to put things back where he goes he just got some new birthday presents from family And he doesn't really know where things go. And I'm like, buddy, there's a bucket underneath your bed. And that's where these things need to go, not all over the house. So my kids are actually really, really helpful. I'm I'm constantly putting them to work because I want them to take ownership and realize that they're on a team with us. And that we explain, I explain to them, I'm like, have you ever had a bad teammate? You know, somebody who doesn't pull their weight and they're like, yes, mom, I have. I'm like, okay, well, that's what it's like when you don't participate and you don't help clean up the house you know we've got to be a good teammate and that just takes all of us to make this happen and so there's just so much laundry and little things that needs to get put away and oftentimes I will ask them okay can you go put these pjs away or this away and the girls this painting that's right here was in the girls room they actually snapped the cord on the back and I have to fix that but I'm kind of contemplating putting it on the wall here in the homeschool room because It's just so pretty. It's like three little girls just picking flowers. And I've often heard that you never want to hang art in your house that you wouldn't want to be in. And that picture just makes me so happy. It makes me just feel the feels of being outside with my kids. I just love that feeling. So this this table's been such a big blessing, just a nice big long table. And here I'm just going back through the room. Like I said, I'm just doing 10 minutes and then I'm moving on. But it's nice to go back and kind of fiddle with things and make them look a little bit prettier. And this isn't ideal here, but this is where I have my quiet time in the morning. So it feels good to keep all of my Bibles and all my books and journals right there ready to go for quiet time. This is a room that definitely needs some love. I want to put like six picture frames together on this wall. I just haven't got to it yet. Um, But this couch is super, super cozy. This is where we have community group once a week. And so I don't, we don't sit in here a whole lot except for community group. So I definitely want to do some new things with this room, but it's a super cozy couch. And if I have to take a nap anywhere in the house, it's definitely going to be on this couch. And this is also where we do a lot of couch homeschool. So I might sit on the couch with the kids and just do some math or reading So I like to keep all the books that we typically go through in the morning right over there by the couch. 
We used to have two lamps, but one of them got broken and I haven't yet replaced that with two identical lamps. So I need to work on that soon. So thanks for watching this clean with me. Make sure you check out my video next week, which is all about keeping your habits super strong in the summer so you can keep making progress on who you want to become and stay productive this summer while you're making fun memories. So I'll see you again next week. From generation to generation, passed down through every age, there's a story of a savior whose love will never change.